Happy Sunday ladies! I'm coming to you with a project I've been working on for a couple days. Well it took me a couple days to do it but I've been working on it for a couple weeks. <laughs> if that made any kind of sense. But anyways this is a birthday gift for my friend Kat. Hi Kat! I don't know if she's going to cheat and watch this before she gets it or not because I would. So I'm not going to judge anybody. <laughs> but I had already had this stuff and um, I've just been busy on the weekends and stuff like that. So I'll start a little bit and then I'll go and then during the week I can't do anything because I work and commute. So today I just sat down and got it done. Started at 7.30 in the morning and I was like, we are not leaving this craft room until this is done because I have to mail this tomorrow. Kat's birthday was at the beginning of May. We both are May babies. And I forgot that it was, I believe, the first or second week of May. And when I asked her, it already passed. So I felt bad. So I had already had stuff that I purchased for her, but the handmade item, that's what I had to do. And I had to do something you know, extra because she always does something so extra beautiful for me. So let me go ahead and dive in. This right here is a wood plaque that I purchased from Frank Garcia's studio up in Upland. Now it looks like this before anything is on it. So it's wooden um, and it's already painted. It comes painted like this. And all I did, of course, is I added the, um, the colored paint I wanted. Um, on the front. Kat's favorite color is blue, which is um, the lighter shades of blue. So right here, I'm just gonna put my information and then I'll um, send this off to her, but this is the front. I kept it pretty shabby because I mean, gosh, if you're gonna use light blue, you gotta keep it shabby. <laughs> so this right here um, measures 12 by nine. Okay, I did not, oh, here, let me just go piece by piece. So let me give you the whole view, and if I can, and then I'll bring it up close. This sentiment right here comes from a paper pad from Authentique. I purchased it last year at the Expo, and all it has are these type of sentiments. So they're meant to go like in picture frames to put around your house. So I love things like this just for this reason alone. Um, so I picked this one always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. This was a sentiment I chose for Kat and um, I liked the colors. So they didn't have anything that was really blue, but this one right here is like the, a green blue color. So I decided to go ahead and play off of that and incorporate other shades of blue. And of course they had to do a couple green and some pink. So I couldn't keep it just blue, okay? So, let's see, at the bottom, down here is some of my super favorite trim. And what I did is this is layered three times. So it looks like this. And then I have them tiered. One sits higher than the other. Okay. So this just dangles at the bottom right here. I love it. Then I um, did a bunch of different styles of paint on here, but of course you're not going to see it all, and that's okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like a cornflower blue is what this is back here. And so you'll, it, I distressed it some, I added some uh, different types of chalk paint, but you're not going to see all of that, unfortunately. This right here is cheesecloth. I have it laid through the whole bottom part of everything. I have a beaded applique that comes through here. Then I have this, just a fabric applique that's laying underneath it. You will see all of these right here. These are not pearls that I just laid down. They look like this. And this was purchased from um, Hobby Lobby in the wedding section, but I purchased it probably two years ago. So I don't know if they still have it because I have literally not gone back to purchase any of this again. So, um, but I know girls have found it online. I don't know what it would be called either because I don't have, this is just how I have it. I don't have the original packaging, but I love this because it's already automatically just all gathered like that. So I literally just like lay it on top and then I adhered only the big pearls down. So all the little skinny ones, they're, 
they just shoot out. I don't, I didn't adhere those, just the big ones. So it took me a long time to adhere just these big ones, but I got it done. <laughs> and um, those are some I Am Roses. And no, I'm lying. Those are Prima. And then everything here flower wise is either Wild Orchid or I Am Roses. I couldn't tell you which one, but they're all from those two places. They have all been um, distressed with a shimmer paint, which I'm going to show you all the flowers. So you'll see right here. And yeah, look at that. I just got done. So my hands have this stuff all over it. <laughs> and um, so I have it all over the flowers and it's like a pearl shimmer paint. And I love these pearls because I literally just laid them on top and just adhered certain ones to lay down so that the rest have movement. So I love these pearls. Super fun. Then I have this really beautiful fabric flower here. This was gifted by a crafty friend. I'm sorry that I don't know who, but thank you. And I took out the original centerpiece that was here because it didn't coordinate with what I was doing and I put this for my own stash. I've had that for a couple years as well and I purchased that from downtown LA, Los Angeles. And then right here are two resin pieces that I made. Um, gosh, I think it was last year making your own resin pieces was the thing. So I went ham on buying molds and making... Um, my own resin pieces so i'm really glad to finally use a couple pieces these you can purchase anywhere on um, amazon all you have to look is for resin molds or probably aliexpress i would assume they have these as well um, but i went ahead and used a couple of those pieces i put some of that shimmer paint on there that you can see i did not put anything on the swan and then there this right here this right here this trim goes all the way from here all the way over and the same on top this trim was purchased from michael's it's on the super wide three inch um ribbon spools so you'll see right here i did not add anything on the sides right here except for the appliques that folded over i didn't want to add anything to the sides I just wanted everything to be on the top. Okay. And then right here is the top corner. Okay. And you'll see right here, these really pretty beaded leaves um, were also gifted to me a long time ago. So on both sides. And then these right here, these little shooting pearls. And then you'll see, you can see really good the shimmer paint on these ones. I loved it. So, so, so pretty. And you'll see right here, there's that same trim. And then right here is just cheesecloth that was purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's a super light blue. You can't tell because it's laying on top of blue. <laughs> so here's the other side. So I absolutely love how this came out. I, Kat, I hope you love it. I had such a blast putting this together for you. And um, I so appreciate knowing you and just, uh, I adore you. And you are just so beautiful to so many of us here on YouTube. And it's been nothing but a, a treasure to me. So thank you again for your friendship and for being so thoughtful all the time. So I hope you had an amazing and special day, which you did tell me that, you know, it was. So um, this is just a little added something. It's coming a little late, but hey, it's like your birthday didn't stop. And this will go along with other gifts that I had purchased for her. But this was the one handmade item. So these were the paints. So right here, this was purchased from Target. So it's called Shimmer Egg. I don't know if they still have these at your targets, but it's in their little crafty section. So I love this stuff. And these were the colors I got. I got Satin Jade. And I purchased these last year. Okay. 
I, what I loved about these, since I purchased them last year, you know, you know when you buy regular acrylic paint, right? This one right here is Morning Mist. And this was the one I layered on top of this wooden piece. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a light gray, like slate. And um, what I loved about it is that it doesn't um, separate. Metallic 14 karat gold. So pretty. And then I got this one right here. Robin's egg. And I don't remember the price on these. Um, I think they were $3.99 though. So I couldn't resist when I seen these. And I was like, okay, yeah. I feel like I got to have these colors in my life. Um, I haven't gone back to see if they have them. Um, but you never know. Not all targets are created equal. So your store might have them. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you had an amazing and blessed weekend. And I've had a, a pretty great weekend just staying around the house, getting stuff done. And um, that to me is success in itself. So thank you so very much for stopping by and for your comments and any, and those of you that do leave thumbs up, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.